Welcome to another podcast in the series 31 Weird Places to Read a Bible, where I connect an ordinary place in life with a Bible theme or story. And today I'm thinking about going to wrestling matches. Not something I have to say I've ever done, but you might catch one on television or be a regular watcher of things like WWF. I remember Big Daddy and Giant Haystacks from the 1970s myself. Anyway, next time you do catch some wrestling, you might want to have a think about Jacob in the Old Testament. In Genesis chapter 32, Jacob finds himself in the dark at a campfire and a stranger approaches. Turns out to be an angel and he ends up wrestling with the angel and effectively wrestling with God. And part of that wrestling match is about Jacob needing to face himself because halfway through, presumably while they take a break from the wrestling, the angel says to him, who are you? What's your name? And you see, if Jacob is prepared to admit who he is, then he can start again. This is something Nick Page writes about in his great book, The Dark Knight of the Shed. It's a whole new beginning for him. And that's what the wrestling is really about. Jacob having to face himself so that he can begin again. And his name means a grabber or taker. And that's what he's done all his life. And he's going to get a new name. He's going to get the name Israel, which means one who wrestles with God. It also means God protects. And so what happens to Jacob is he wrestles with God and he gets a whole new beginning. And that story has often made me think about how being a Christian is a bit like wrestling with God. Because we end up wrestling with ourselves and with the world and with the problems that we see and all these things that Jesus wrestled with when he was on the earth. We're invited into this life which is about facing ourselves, bringing ourselves to God and then wrestling with life and trying to do those good things that we can do with God's help and God's strength to make the world a little bit better rather than a little bit worse. So you might have a think on that next time you catch some wrestling on the telly or in any other place. That's all for now. Thanks for listening. I'll be back.